Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am going to be trying the wings paw. Hee <laughs> hee! Um, now I first came across this uh, from a post in the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group um, and it pointed me to Kristen Oadata Steen's video and um, so I went and had a look and thought woohoo that looks like fun and what can I create with that so what I am trying is another version because all the versions I've seen so far of this have been done on just a plain plain board. Um, Kristen uses like our MDFE type um, board with no paint on it already to help it flow. And then she has to try and fill in the gaps on the sides and I don't like trying to fill in gaps on sides because I never get the nice clean result that I had to start with. So as you can see I am putting some negative space paint down. Um, for those that are new to my channel my negative space paint is um, house paint. It's an acrylic paint from Bunnings called Spring. And I use the indoor outdoor semi gloss white. So, if you want to copy me or looking for a super cheap house paint that'll do this trick nicely, this one seems to work well. I mix this with Flow Troll, PVA glue, and water. The PVA glue does seem to help um, slow the drying time, I think, is what it does. It slows the drying time down just that little bit to, so that it dries at a similar rate or something. I'm not really sure. It helps stop the cracking, the crazing. So, now that we've done that... The next piece we need is the paint. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you over here and show you my cup. We've got some McDonald's cat cup. Um, And Linda did tell me how many ounces were up to the little man, but I can't remember. Those sorts of things just really don't stay in my brain. Anyway, what colours are we using? So the way she does it is she put a whole heap of white in the bottom to start with. And then... She layered in, she poured in some brown. Now this one is burnt sienna. And you're trying to layer it. So it's kind of a bit like doing a ring pour. Um, and so this is burnt, burnt umber. And then she put some more white on top of that. So I'm just running it down the side just to layer it nicely. Then what she did was she got her black, and I'm using Mars black, and went round the edges and put quite a bit of black right around the edges um, yeah. 
and then ugh, gross um sticking my fingers in the black and then she put some yellow i'm actually going to use some gold because i like gold um running it down the side again and then she put white again so now one of the things that intrigued me about this style was it really reminded me of a traveling ring pour and when we first started talking about tra traveling ring pours for this month's June um what is it? Challenge? Um, somebody mentioned that they thought the way you did a travelling ring pour was you tilt the canvas and pour in the one spot and it runs. That's what this looks like to me. So that is why what I'm going to be doing. So what she did was she picked up her, she had her canvas held up on an angle and I'm going to put that there so I've got my white paint there so we're on probably I don't know 25 degree angle and we just because of the angle now make sure you've got okay and then she just sort of dribbled it Like that. And I don't think I've got enough white in there. Somehow. But hey. Let's see. What gets created. And I want to. Get this. She had white through here as well. And I don't have it so. I'm being a bit bummed about that, but I'm going to stop now so that it doesn't run off the end. Ah, ah. Alright, so that's kind of like a travelling ring paw. <laughs> um, and it's actually very similar to what she had, but her wings opened at this end and my wings look like they're opening at this end. <laughs> So, it has run a lot faster than hers did down the canvas. Okay, now, mm. the tilt's always going to get you. Interesting point of view, I have that point of view. So I'm going to tilt it out that way. Trying not to let the paint go off the side, but now I've got a weird wonky thing down there, which I'm not excited about. Okay. So, let's get that a little bit more centered again. And then tilt it. Um. Do, 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 do. Please hold while I find something.
something to use. <laughs> I'm just trying to find something covered in plastic that can capture some of this paint that's going to come run, running off there. It's already it is. So, just going to let it run off a bit. See how much paint I got come off there. Now I'm going to tilt over to the two sides. And then bring it back down. Hmm. See, it's still going to give me a ledge. Which I didn't really want, but it looks kind of like a flowing cloak net rather than wings now. Okay. There we go. Now center that back up again. I'm hoping what you're seeing is working for you because I've got a lot more focus on what I'm doing than on what you're seeing on the screen. I'm sorry. Right. So I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, hopefully, maybe. And then I can straighten my paper back out and turn this back around for you um, hmm. I'm not overly fussed with it, to be honest. And I get that some of that is because I let it run over the sides. Do -do. Um, oh, I got a heap of paint on top of my white container. What I'm actually wondering if I will try is putting some more white here and tipping it so that it can run down either side and take it off. Although I'm just looking at it from different angles, just looking to see whether I like it or not from another angle. What if I held it upside down? Do no. Okay. So gonna get my stick out. There. Uh, 
Ah, didn't mean to blob it in the middle of the painting. trimmed that off a little bit which is good just drain that last bit off that corner all right Interesting. All right, I'm going to have to clean this bit up. But other than that, I'm going to leave it as that. I'm going to torch it though. So give me a minute or two to clean up. Okay, so I've cleaned the edges up. And now I'm just going to give it a bit of a torching. Um, this really is to get rid of the air bubbles. As you can see, there's a whole heap of air bubbles coming up through there. And a bug! Hello, Mr. Bug! Where did you come from? You can do it over here, thanks. Not in my painting. Now there are some cells showing up as I'm torching, but only small little ones. I didn't actually intentionally, I had, I definitely had some silicon in the burnt umber, but I didn't have silicon in any of the others. And I like it. I like it. So, let me get you down and show you. Alright. It hasn't turned out like wings, but it is kind of funky. It's gold around the edges up there. Big gold cell there. So, I like it. It kind of reminds me of wood. And that reminds me, there was somebody else on the Facebook group who did a really interesting thing. And I'm going to give that a go as well. And that looked like planks of wood lined up and I get it was quite a similar technique so I will give that a go and let's see how this one dries I'll be back it looks like a cloak to me if you were you you're that way so uh oops wrong way that way it looks like a cloak hanging down someone's back with maybe the white hood. Yeah? You see that? Anyway, this is, let's see what it looks like dry in three, two, one.
Oh my goodness, I so, 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 so love this. <laughs> um, to me, it goes... Oh, which way did I just turn that? So there, da -ba, da -ba. To me, it goes that way. It's the long, flowing cape down the back of the beautiful Princess Queenie type thing. Um, <laughs> but that's just me, because I'm a bit like that. Um, yeah. The gold is looking stunning. I will be buying this gold again. So this is the Reeves gold. There is hints of the browns and the black. And it just looks delicious. And to me, it looks like the queen is walking away. How does it get any better than that? I love it. 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 And if you don't love it, don't do it. If you're not having fun, don't do it. Go find something that is fun. And if you have to do it, absolutely have to do it, then ask the question, what can I add to this to make it fun? What can I be different that would make it fun? And what else is possible? I adore you guys. Come play with us on Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. If you're not already signed up to my newsletter, um, we will be having a go live coming up in the next few days. So jump onto that, mickeyart.com forward slash sign up so that you know when I'm going live and you can come play. Come tell me what colours and what shapes. And actually, this one's going to be pendants. So if you want to design your own pendant from my runoff, come play. So, you need to sign up for the newsletter to make sure you know when that's going to happen. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. And click that bell so you get the notifications. I adore you all and I will see you again in the next video. I've got some really cool stuff coming up for you. Yay! See you soon. Bye!